Hey, Nick from Ohio Power Tool. To address the confusion between Milwaukee Fuel and brushless motors, what it all means, and why should you give a shit? I'm sure you've heard of brushed and brushless motors, but do you know what the actual difference is? Tools with brushed motors obviously use carbon brushes that generate a bunch of science to power the tool. Ownership of brush tools is getting more and more rare as many manufacturers are hopping on the brushless bandwagon. Brushless tools are considered smarter tools because the tool adjusts its resistance for the task it's performing. To put it bluntly, brushless tools are better overall than brushed motors in terms of performance, energy use, battery life, and safety. Now that we've covered brush versus brushless, where does fuel come into play? Before I jump into that, if you like this video, give us a quick like and we'd really appreciate a follow. The main difference between the Milwaukee fuel line and the regular brushless tools is typically the level of torque and drive power. Milwaukee fuel offers all the benefits of brushless motors combined with their Red Link Plus intelligence and powerful battery packs. Let me give you an example. The first fuel cirque saw was the 2731-20 and it dominated the market as the only brushless tool for over a year. Other manufacturers with brush saws simply couldn't compete. Eventually they all launched their own brushless versions, but it still held its own years later. Then Milwaukee needed to step up their game as the new cell batteries launched and then they released the Gen 2 2732-20. It got a bit bigger, heavier, but it was way more of a powerhouse. Obviously with this tool upgrade, the OG was discontinued, but Milwaukee gave us the launch of the 2631, and it was very similar in size and power of the Gen 1 fuel search saw, and was labeled as brushless, not fuel. Milwaukee doesn't give watt output or torque ratings for this tool, so it's hard to measure exact power differences, but we've sold them to dozens of pro users and we were pleasantly surprised with the positive reviews we received. So with all that information in mind, what should you choose? The fuel tools are going to be the latest and greatest you can find in terms of brushless motors and other features. Milwaukee will continue to release brushless tools, which should be solid pro options that will always be less expensive, probably with less features than the fuel counterparts. Some of these might be brand new, but don't be surprised if they've got very similar specs to older gen fuel models. So look, if you're still on the fence about brushless and fuel, just get the fuel. That's, that's pretty much what I'm trying to say here. So there's a link in the description that goes over all of this in way more detail. And of course, if you have any questions on any Milwaukee tools, fuel, brushless, brush, or whatever else, the team at Ohio Power Tool is always here to help you find the right tool for the job.